so I decided to record today's activities. Um, I recorded all of yesterday's activities, ended up being a lot more than I was planning. Um, the video is up on YouTube now. I think it's like 45 minutes long. So it's one of those videos where if you got nothing to do, please watch it. Um, and I'm recording today's activities. I don't know how yesterday's video is going to do because it doesn't come out until Sunday. Today is Friday. I just am leaving the post office. Uh, I shipped out today's orders. And now I'm on my way to Agno Aquatics. It's up in Cleveland. My GPS says it's one hour and 57 minutes away. And I'm going to Agno Aquatics. I always have to kind of pause because I always want to say Agno Aquatics, but Agno Aquatics. Um, I'm meeting Jimmy uh, Schwiski. He works for the Aquarium Co-op. Everybody knows who Jimmy is, but I'm meeting up there with him to pick up some fish. Um, Jimmy's given me some fish. Stay tuned for a video on that. They're going to be awesome. And thanks, Jimmy. And I got a present for him just to... Uh, give him something back and um so i'm on my way there now it's a two hour drive so uh yeah i might talk to you guys here in a minute when i get bored but uh stay tuned all right i'm about an hour away from agno aquatics and did i say agno aquatics do you know i'm telling you george if you're watching this, you need to put an A in there. You need to make it Agno Aquatics. <laughs> Anyways, I'm making a pit stop, and um, then I'll be back on the road. It's uh, super nice out today. I don't know what the temperature is. It's got to be in the 60s. There's not a cloud in the sky. It's beautiful. In fact, the only thing in the sky right now is I can see the moon. But um, it's an awesome day. I had to stop to get some Dunkin' coffee. All right, guys, so I made it to Agno Aquatics. I didn't put the A in it. I'm still saying George needs to put an A to make nope, it Agno Aquatics. <laughs> um, I met up. Jimmy's right here. I'm about to get some guppies from him. And I also brought something for Jimmy, too. Oh, you did? Yeah. But Jimmy. Look at these guys. Tell these guys what's special about these guppies. All right, so uh, when Corey went to Germany or Vienna or whatever he went to, he went to a guppy competition and he wanted these guppies that won the the whole competition i don't know if he it wanted but he, it, he really really liked the guppies they look like antlers to me but they're guppies and um the only way he could take it all the way back is to you know through, through customs and everything and after going through like I think six five six customs and paying over 500 dollars for them he finally got them back <laughs> and i'm about to give him a pair with some three little babies here so i'm getting a pair and some fry yep yep so i can continue this line out yeah so that's yeah. awesome yeah the, you're the only other person besides my brother-in-law in the state that has it you and hear that over guys in washington it's only dean and corey so so these are these are really special yeah <laughs> so i'm gonna put these in the truck get them out of this cold wind and then we'll be back yep Guys, check out the Plecos that Jimmy brought with him. All the way from Washington, he just said. Yep. It's pretty sweet. They're the sweet. best to put, you know, on your car to show everybody you're a fish nerd. Yeah. Where'd you get them from? Um, I think I got them from Dave shop. Something okay. Fishy, Inc. Something Fishy, Go Inc. Go visit him. Go visit him. Yeah. In Washington? No! He's like five <laughs> minutes from here, bro! Five minutes! <laughs> that way! Yeah. They went from... Oh, Ohio yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I've, Ohio, you've yeah. Uh, done a video there. Yeah, yeah. Something Fishy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, five minutes from here. Sweet. Check out Something Fishy Ink, guys. Yep. All right, guys. You know I made it to Ohio Fish Rescue when you can see Big Rich's Camaro in the garage. So I'm going to go in the house and see what everybody's doing and continue on from there. All right, guys. Next update. I'm at OFR. We're moving spin around the thousand gallon stand. Josh is cutting a bulkhead off of it right now so we can finish moving it up on. You can keep going, bud. Four inch bulkhead. We're just cutting it off because why not? Why not? Just send it.
You're welcome. Rich. You have always been here for the OFR, always. and thank you. And I always will be. And we awesome. also have his buddy Nick, but he's you know he's camera shy, so we do want to give. Nick, you want to come in and, and make a little camera? All right, guys. So Ohio Fish Rescue is doing their live stream right now. I'm out in the pool room. That's the 58,000 gallon pool that everybody already knows. Um, Super Nurse is on the live stream right now. So I'm just gonna kind of hang out here for a few minutes and I'll probably hop back into their live stream here in a minute. But this is how my day's going so far. Um, a little bit more relaxing than yesterday for sure. But um, I'll show you guys some fish and show you the work that we got done today. So if you guys have seen on the Ohio Fish Rescue channel, they did put the coral insert into the pool. It looks pretty good. I think that the, what I would, I'm going to recommend to Josh is my idea. Um, what they could do is maybe put a pump in there and have it just pump up water, fill up that top as a bowl and just have it kind of cascade down. I think it would look pretty sweet. We got Brutus, everybody knows Brutus. And that's him taking down some food like a champ. And that's, here's the cichlid tank. Um, once again, if you guys follow FR, this is the tank I'm sponsoring. Um, I'm going to pay for all the food for all these cichlids. And then once they get the Bellagio tanks up over on that wall, I will continue sponsoring that tank. There goes Ryan. That's the bearded fish keeper. What's up, guys? And then uh, once that new tank's up over there, I will continue to sponsor it and continue to help them out and pay for all the food. But look at this platinum alligator gar, just beautiful. There's two of them, and, and I did get to swim in this pool before, and it was awesome. I just love watching this. Let's walk in. Look at this little team right here. So everybody knows this is Betty. She's, she's big, I gotta zoom out for her. And what's cool about Betty is she always wants to stay by the water return. I think she loves the feel of the bubbles hitting her. Cause the water, it's not nothing to do with water quality. She just loves the feel of the water. Check out them teeth. All right, this tank, I believe this is 4,000 ish, 4,400 maybe. Uh, this tank is, it's kind of like watching a movie theater. You know, this tank is taller than me. You know, it's, it's on the ground. And this is a tank that you could just really sit back and watch. And in fact, here's my favorite fish in this whole tank. This guy right here, I don't know his name, if they named him, but every time I come here, he always comes up to the glass and will always follow, follow me around. If I had a monster tank and that fish wasn't somebody's pet, I would take him. He's just got a lot of personality. You know, I don't need to show you guys every single tank. There's plenty of videos on the Ohio Fish Rescue. But I wanna show you what we did today. Cause that's kind of the theme of all this. So here's the first stand I built for the Ohio Fish Rescue. This is their 500 gallon cube aquarium. Uh, we got the, they actually had the tank on the stand. We had to take it off, slide in the plywood sheet. You always want to put plywood underneath an acrylic tank because that takes up any kind of imperfection that could be on the steel or on the bottom of the aquarium. So it helps kind of pad the aquarium in that, that way. And this is why I was here today. This is the 1,000 1, gallon aquarium. I built this stand, finished it up this week, put the final finishing touches on it, and brought it up to them. And it might be a little hard to see. I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of working in low light here. But it's 1,000 gallons. This thing's tall. You know, my top of my head's right here. But man, it looks so much better just being off the ground because you know it was sitting on the ground you know kind of like this tank 
So that's that's a win. They got to do some work. There's a bulkhead in the bottom that they need to patch. They need to close that off. But um, soon they'll have this up and running. That's a whole nother thousand gallons added to their system. They're adding the 500 gallons in it. Now we have the 700. This is the third tank that I'm building for Ohio Fish Rescue. They commissioned me to build them the 1000 and the 700. So next up on the plate is the 700. This tank will be up. It's going to be right where it's at, but up. And these are all going to be level with each other. It's going to look amazing. And they got a lot of new fish in. Once again, follow their channel and you'll see um, a video they just released, I think this, this current week or last week, on um, picking up new stingrays. And I, forgive me, I forget the name of these fish, but man, look at the, the color red. It's a real deep, dark red. It looks, I don't know if I keep saying amazing, but it looks amazing. There's a blood parrot over there. Who doesn't love Pittsburgh? Look at this guy. He's just, he's beautiful too. And he's in this uh, cube aquarium. He lives with guppies. Yeah, he doesn't view the guppies as a meal. Yeah, there's, I also noticed there, there are some endlers in here too, but uh, here's some fry at the top. So these guys are reproducing, which is awesome. All right, so one last thing I want to talk about on this side of the, their fish room, this tank. I forget the length of this tank, but let's say it's, uh, oh man, I don't know, 16 feet, maybe 20 feet long. I told Josh, we need to get this thing up in level with this tank, and this would be like SC Aquatics row. All the tanks in this row would be on my stands, which would be really cool. But I think I think they want to get all their stands up off the floor, and uh, it would look amazing to have all the all the tanks up because it really brings the tank to your viewing level. And uh, that noise is the water. They're, they're, they did a water change, and the pump's sucking a little bit of air as it's refilling up. But something that Josh or maybe it was Big Rich. I think Big Rich said it in their live stream tonight. This is the 3,000 gallon tank, the one that uh, Big Betty's in. They're talking about having me do a stand for that. And uh, that for sure, I would have to design that in CAD and it's a lot of weight. It's a big, big tank. I don't know the exact dimensions of it, but it looks like it's at least 12 foot long, uh, maybe 14 feet long. and. It's at least, it looks like at least five feet deep and uh, at least four feet tall. So it's a big tank, 3,000 gallons, guys. That's a lot. So just for reference, what's what's water weight? Eight point, like three, four pounds a gallon. So if you got the 1,000 gallon tank, just in water weight, it's over 8,000 pounds plus the weight of the stand. So something, something like this tank to build a stand, it would have to be uh, very beefy. So that might be a future project on my channel and on OFR, but let's just keep moving along. All right, let's see if uh, Brutus wants to eat a little bit. Got some pellets. Brutus. Yeah, he does. That quick. I also got a bunch of bushy nose pluckos. These are hobbyist bread. Um, they're from the Bearded Fish Keeper. So I told you guys I always try to buy from hobbyists whenever possible. So um, he came to help move the stands and everything today. So he brought the pluckos with him. And he's going to keep supplying me with um, bushy nose as long as he can. So awesome. All right, guys, I'm in line at Chick-fil-A to get some dinner. It is 9 p.m. I just left Ohio Fish Rescue. I'm 
a half a mile from the house, uh, grabbing some food to eat on the way home and start this two hour journey home. I don't really think there's going to be any more footage after this. Um, I do have 20 bushy nose plecos I got from uh, the bearded fish keeper um, buying his plecos that he's breeding himself. Uh, those will go on the website as soon as they clear quarantine. And then I have those Vienna guppies, which I'm super excited for. But anyways, guys, if you made it to this far, as always, thank you for watching. Uh, stay fishy. Keep taking along. But see you guys. All right. So I know I said that was the end of the video, but I just got home. It is... 11 12 p.m and i had intended to leave the video at where it was i came home to a package and this is something that you guys requested that i sell and let me get one out pleco caves i only brought in a small order because it's a new vendor so i wanted to see the size of it and the quality and they look good. So I need to take pictures of these. I probably need to put like a uh, tape measure next to it so that way you guys can see the size. Um, but it's like a good middle of the road size. It's not massive, but it's not tiny. Um, but like I said, I only brought in so many of them. So this will be a limited release, but that's how I wanted to end this video on a little positive uh, piece of information. I'm going to get this video off my phone from today and maybe do a little bit of editing before I go to bed. But um, thank you guys once again for watching. Until the next time, see you guys.